Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and this is Valentine's Day when we're recording this, 14th of February, 2011. Let's see some photos. Uh-oh, bad children. I, I may start having a, a bad child uh, activity regularly on here, along with the nature photos. Two kids, underage, riding a motor scooter, has no license on it, and obviously they don't have to have a license to drive it, but surely the law would require them to wear helmets. Okay, we're going back to 2007 for these pictures in this particular short take. That we call the frog pond. There's a leopard frog, and this was actually a hole that they dug out, built up around it, and had a gasoline storage tank. Those two frogs are out on Pinnacle Prairie uh, about the same day, and they're also leopard frogs. There's a butterfly, I, I'm not sure with his wings closed, whether I'm identifying him right, but uh, he's not a swallowtail. That one is a swallowtail. And uh, it uh, might be the pipe vine swallowtail. I didn't look these up today to read the names. Know what that is, that's a monarch, and it's on uh, <coughs> a swamp milkweed, one of my favorites. I wear those critters out taking pictures of things on them. And uh, just keep finding more every year. And that's a uh, day flying moth, the flick, uh, skipper moth. That's another shot of tall grass, and those are its little flowers, and it'll eventually be uh, seed. That's uh, a native species of tall grass, and I don't claim to call the names right, so I usually stay away from it. Okay, this uh, butterfly is on a <coughs> thistle. I believe that may be the non-native thistle, but you know what? The butterflies don't care. It's the cattlemen that worry about those non-native thistles that uh, are bad for, for their critters. That is definitely a swallowtail, I believe, and it's definitely on the uh, same or similar thistle. And what I was doing today, and looking back at old ones, were some things that Maybe I never got to show on short takes these particular shots, although you've seen the same area. That's an immature morning dove, I believe. That's my best guess because he was so immature that his coloration and so forth is not what his parents uh, have. If I'm wrong, somebody let me know what other bird this could possibly be. It's got to be a dove, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, I, I love that particular one because you seldom see them but you knew it's immature because it sat so still. I believe this butterfly is called a red spotted purple maybe admiral admiral family. It's uh, I believe dependent on some of the trees. That's a cat that left home more than a year ago in December and um, has not returned. That's a one-eyed cat. That's right. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Well, this is to uh, invite you to come to Council of Neighborhoods every month. Participate. Represent your neighborhood. Find out if you've already got a neighborhood representative. Notice two people sitting uh, against the back there uh, are now on the Federal City Council. So they, all, they are people we know will be paying attention to what goes on at Council of Neighborhoods. Till next time, this is Aubrey Shepard asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure and the woods green. See ya.